Antonio Brown has been signed by the Patriots. The surprises keep coming. I did not see this happening at all. I thought that the Patriots would be the last team to take Antonio Brown. After what he has done in Pittsburgh and what he's done recently with Oakland, I thought the Patriots wouldn't even consider signing him. But that is not the case. They are they have signed him already. So he's going to practice and then he's going to play in the second game. He's not allowed to play tomorrow, but he he'll be allowed to play in the second game. So, we'll see what he does. Now, I will say this. We all know that the Patriots they're not going to tolerate Antonio Brown acting up and throwing tantrums on the sideline. So, he's on very thin ice with the Patriots. So if he only catches two balls for 10 yards, he better be happy with that. He cannot be upset if Tom Brady doesn't throw the ball in his direction 10 times. Because if he starts showing up and throwing tantrums and, and cussing out the GM and being disrespectful to Bill Belichick or anybody on the Patriots, he'll be gone. I don't see the Patriots tolerating this. Now, I will say this as well. The Patriots do have a history of dealing with players who've had a troubled history. So, so for example, players like Corey Dillon, Randy Moss, we know that they currently have Josh Gordon on their roster. We know his issues with uh, substance abuse. So they're able to deal with these players and these players have been, produced, have been producing very well for the Patriots. So we'll see what happens with that Tony Brown. Hopefully he'll play well for them because they are a Super Bowl contender. In fact, I've got them winning the Super Bowl. So, Antonio Brown can help him with that. He also adds depth to the right receiver position. We know that the Patriots have suffered injuries to that position. Julian Elliman is banged up. Their other right receiver, Keneal Harry, he's banged up. So, Antonio Brown does help out in that area. Hopefully, things will go well with Antonio Brown with the Patriots. I'm cautiously, cautiously optimistic about this because I just saw what he did in Oakland. I've seen how he's behaved in Pittsburgh. And like I said, the Patriots won't tolerate it. They're taking a chance here. In my opinion, they're taking a big chance. They're taking a big risk because this guy seems to only care about himself. He seems to be all about himself. That's what he's shown me. And I'm saying this as a passionate Antonio Brown fan. But we'll see what happens. You know, I'll give him, we'll give him another chance. We'll see what happens with New England. Hopefully it'll work out for him there. If it doesn't, then hey, that's on him. Because he's had three chances. I mean, to be on three teams in less than a year, that's very odd for a player as talented as Antonio Brown. There's no reason why a player as gifted as him should be on three teams in less than a year. One team he literally didn't get to play one game with, which was the Raiders. So he needs to get his mind right. He needs to understand that, hey, I'm not going to catch 15 balls <laughs> with the Patriots. That's unlikely to happen. We'll wait and see what he does. I hope it works out for him, though. And we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. All you have to do is press that subscribe button below, below this video. Also, click on the notification bell as well. That way, when I put out new content, you won't miss out on any of it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.